Mm, what? Good, good afternoon. Mm, well, really uh, did uh, speak for quite a long time, and in fact, he spoke about many things that I wanted to look at. Mm, people need to understand the cost. This is essential. The idea that we need to separate at source, this is also very important. And good sorting can create positive economic effects. So basically what I'm going to do is, well, no, we, we are a paper recycling company and I'm going to show you a video just to give you a brief idea of what it is that we do then I'll say a few words after. Thank you. Prodisa fue fundada en 1990. Prodisa was founded in 1995 by a renowned local businessman who's worked many years with paper. He's worked in Seville, Malaga. Now, since the beginning of our business, Protisa, we focused on recycling paper to make uh, toilet paper. We also manufacture kitchen roll to meet the demands of the market. We're going to see exactly how we recycle paper. Now, our raw material is paper that comes from recycling bins, from banks, businesses, schools, and many other different areas and then we have companies that uh, sort this paper for it to eventually end up in our factory now we pulp the paper mixing paper with water to create a paper paste then we go through various different processes and various different circuits to uh, create paper with the consistency with which we can then reuse it as toilet paper, for example. It runs through certain tubes and then it goes through various different filters to press the water out of the paper and the water is reabsorbed and then we pass it through this wheel to press the paper. Once there is very little water left in the paper mix. We dry it in the process uh, over 90 degrees, uh, 120 degrees. And then we pass it through the jumbo spindle. This is where we have the final product. This product can now be handled. We move it on to two individual spindles. And then the pope is rolled around a cardboard roll to produce long bars of kitchen and toilet paper and then we slice it into smaller pieces. Then we package it and send it to the export companies and then we have a final product. And this is the process by which we make our products using recycled paper. Protisa is the only paper manufacturing company in the Canary Islands and we have changed the way things are done in the Canary Islands because before we set up our business all paper waste was exported but now we have provided added value to local administrations because we use up this paper. The cost of toilet paper fell from 30 cents to 15 cents per roll and this has driven down the cost of the shopping market for consumers. Our business has a CSR approach and we take into account the preservation of our environment, which is one of the hallmarks of the environmental appeal that our islands have for consumers. Therefore, we are recycling ways to create wealth for the islands. We have 15 employees at present and we make 800 tonnes of recycled paper a year. This is 830,000 
individual toilet rolls. In fact, we can reach a figure of 5,000 tons a year. That's 5.2 million toilet rolls a year. Our factory has a surface area of 8,000 square meters, 3,000 of which are dedicated to process, and 5,000 of which is warehousing. If the conditions are favorable, and we have the wind in our cells, then we hope to expand within our factory to be able to produce between 10 and 15,000 tons of recycled paper every year, doubling the amount of people that we employ. And this will have a knock-on effect for many families. But we don't only have to raise awareness on recycling. We have to make consumers aware that recycled products are as good as primary products. And this will give added value to our sector. We need to involve retailers, administrations, and wholesalers. And we need to make them understand how they need to use recycled products through our uh, awareness raising campaigns. We need to provide them with information on our products because this will have a knock-on benefit on our environment and for the Canary Islands at large. So I think that was a pretty good summary of uh, pretty much everything that I'd like to say. Sorting is key. We cannot continue to fill these landfill sites. We heard from Expra, from Joaquin. And uh, landfill sites is something that we need to do something about. We need to reduce because this is a mountain of waste that's being produced and this is a resource that we in industry should be able to make use of. Now I'm speaking specifically about the Canary Islands because that is where we all are. But those mountains of waste are a perfect resource for us to be able to recover resources, to generate new materials, to generate employment. And this will help the islands become more sustainable. So basically that's all I had to say. Thank you.